I'm curious, what are some things that you see from rising artists that kind of annoy you? And I'll give you some things from me that kind of annoy me. One, if someone is tweeting about your music and you're not responding to that person, like you're not you're not Drake respectfully. I, you should respond to every single person who took time out of their day to tweet about how much they love your project. And that frustrates me sometimes, but I love it when I see certain artists. We're seeing Schoolboy Q. This album rollout has been yeah. so sick because he is just responding to fans. And if you're going on a five-year hiatus and you jump back into things, that's how you do it. You start yeah. increasing your presence. And it's just so much – you feel that much more into the artist when you know that you can have like this line of communication with them. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, things that annoy me. Oh, man, this is a fucking list. Uh, yeah. Expecting people to promote your shit more than you will. That's yeah. probably my biggest pet peeve, uh, especially mm-hmm. on the distribution side as well. You know what I mean? I think like expecting – other people to do more than you will do as an artist to promote your own music is mm-hmm. absurd. <laughs> like, honestly, yeah, it's yeah. just, cra- it's like actually crazy. Like to think that other people should, ca- yeah. Like why should anybody else care about more uh, your art more than you do? If you can't physically show us how much you care about it, why should we? Um, yeah. Well, I think, so I think that's so something. I saw a video from um, rap portraits came out with the video with Cal yeah. Banks and he was saying that when he got signed the TDE, he's like, Oh, this is when like the opportunities come. And yeah. I was like, then he realized like, oh no, this is now I'm in the spot, but now I still have to keep being a, my biggest advocate and booking studio sessions to have these artists come. Uh, all you've done is get drafted to the league and have an opportunity to play. Like that's that's the analogy I always yeah. make to people. Like it's not like you get assigned to a label, you get a deal. You haven't made it. You have the opportunity to now put the work in to try and yes. make it. But you have an opportunity in front of you to take advantage of the resources that you'll have and maybe the support that you'll have that you didn't have before to be in the league. Yeah. But before that, you know what I mean? Like being independent, like you're you're out here, you're a tryouts, bro. Like that's, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like that's maybe a bit harsh because like I do think there are independent, independent artists do an amazing job. But I think the thing you have to remember going into a major label deal or even an indie label deal is that it's not that the work will all immediately be done for you. Uh, and even with this, especially with distro, the work is not going to be done for you. You have to do the work yourself. Yeah. And if you're lucky, you'll get a team that does a good amount of work for you and, and really cares about the project. Or if you, you know, if you're careful, you'll find people who really care about it and can do the work for you. Yeah. Um, or at least help assist you in the process. You know, what I mean? not mm. do the work for you. Um, but I think that's one big thing for me is just, yeah. you know, people who expect to be handed. It's the entitlement. It gets comes back to entitlement at the end of the yeah. day. Like, you know, you're an artist. That's cool. There's like a billion artists. Okay, that's an exaggeration. It's not a billion yeah, yeah. artists, but the, you know what I mean? There's like a, a ton million, of artists. Yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, there's a couple million artists out there, a couple million rappers out there trying to do the same thing, putting music out, telling a story, trying to get people to care. And like at the end of the day, I think it's, you know, everybody wants to feel special as an artist, but I think artists have to understand that like in today's age, it's maybe not as special of a thing. And you have to give people a reason to think that it's special and connect to it and feel as yeah. though it's special. And that's not a knock on people's art because, like, obviously, I think everybody should have the space to make it too um, yeah. and express themselves and create. But at the same time, if we're talking about this at a high level, at a professional level, then it's the same as anything. You know what I mean? You have mm-hmm. to excel and you have to be great at what you do. And in my eyes, at least, like, I'm yeah. sure there are you know artists who have made it who are not that great. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, yeah. like, I, I think it's it it is about that work ethic. It's about being grateful for, for kind of like what you're doing and the steps you take and, you know, not feeling as though you're entitled to anything because you're really not. And I try to remind artists this all the time. It's like, yeah, yeah like as much as you want to feel entitled to something, like you you actually don't deserve anything until you can you can prove like what you're capable of and what you can yeah. do. Um, and even then it's it's hard work and it's, it's getting people to care and convincing people to care and connecting with them. So yeah. I just think there's so much more to it than just being like, oh, I'm a great artist. I deserve this. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the entitlement, not putting the work in, the work ethic. Uh, spam, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> like I could I could write novels. I could write essays. I could write dissertations about artists <laughs> spamming people. Because um, it just doesn't work. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's cool. Like if you have a campaign that's like, you know, day one of this person, like until this person sees it, like sure, at least that's content. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's yeah, a funny yeah. story to be told there. But like, for people who are just like, hey, yo, bro, check me out. Like, I'm I'm the next blah, blah, blah. Like, I just, like that does not excite me at all. Like, yeah. I think it's, you know, artists just need to understand if something is great and people will see it. You know what I mean? Like, if it's if it's really, really sick and, it, like, undeniable, like, we'll see it. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, at the end of the day, like, in the music industry, in the in the music creative place, like, we'll see yeah. that shit. 
I but, learned that I learned that lesson recently because I do my a weekly video called the Rhyme Report where I kind of do like a mm -hmm. SNL version of the hip hop news. And one Sick. week I was I was just yeah thank you. Um, there's I don't have like a crazy amount of followers, so I'm like how what's a good way to get people to see this? Oh, I'll come comment the link under like a complex tweet or under <laughs> one of these big platforms. And I was talking to John Denton on the big music review yeah. about this, and he was like, although it might get you the views, he's like that's just not the way to do it because like you will annoy someone. And when I was doing yeah. it, I, in my mind, I was like, this could be definitely viewed as annoying. And one account who I follows me and we interact responded with a question mark. And I'm like, ah, then I felt anxious because I was like, I probably shouldn't just commented randomly on that. I but think I there's ways yeah. to, I think there's ways to do it. You know what I mean? Like, I just think that like the way that people approach it for the most part is poor. Um, and yeah. it's, it's like always under the guys, like we did this, like, and this is maybe not a great example because I, th I think like when we did this collaborative playlist, like one of the instructions was comment as many times as you want. But like I usually tell people don't do that because it yeah. just it does immediately lend itself to getting a thousand comments from the same person. And it's like you don't get to see all the comments. Like sometimes it's mm -hmm. like, you know, you, you tweet and it's like submit this like you get you don't see all the tweets like it doesn't actually allow you to physically see all the responses yeah so the more that someone spams it the more that it shows it takes an opportunity away from someone else so for me mm -hmm. it's it's really just kind of like this thing of like you know, like just follow the instructions and be fair to everyone so that everyone yeah. can get seen everyone can get heard and have that opportunity because otherwise it, it does kind of detract from other people and and you know even for me if i'm listening to something i see like a thousand of the same comment like sometimes it'll just piss me off and then i'm not in the mood to listen to music anymore and then, yep. then the yep. then the vibe is gone the vibe is ruined too so i think that's important yeah. um so and you also just like you gotta like balance people naturally finding your content but also still pl marketing yourself because like we said yeah like no one's gonna market for you but i like I, bro it. I'm still in people's comments trying to push people's music, you know what I mean? But it, it's always going to be like something that makes sense. So if it's like yeah. a video that makes sense and is in the taste of someone else's music that maybe I'm pushing, I will comment and be like, hey, like, if you like this, I do think that you might like this. Yeah. And I think that's fine. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I, I even think that's fine for artists to do. I wouldn't be mad if an artist came onto my content and was like, hey, did you like this? Then I really think that you might like this artist too. I'd probably check it out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it makes sense and it's cohesive. But when it is like, you know, just a random cold DM, like I had somebody DM me like, I'm the next Michael Jackson. I was like, Both are man. you, dude? Yeah, like, <laughs> are you? Like, I'm not to be a dick, but like, probably not. <laughs> if we're being completely honest. Like, I don't think Michael Jackson would be in people's DMs being like, yeah. I'm the next Stevie Wonder or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, so I don't know. I think that's, that's one thing for me. And then the last thing I think that annoys me about artists is just the lack of like, and this is not everybody by any means, but like some artists, bro, just refuse to treat people on their teams like human beings. And mm -hmm. like that, that's like a big thing because like everybody's a human being at the end of this. Like I try to be yeah. mindful of that in every case, even if it's some shit I don't like or somebody acting a certain way and it, it like, you know, irks me. I do try and give them the benefit of the doubt first mm -hmm. and be like, yo, like what real life shit is happening that is going to stop you from doing the thing that you need to do. Um, so I, that is maybe the other thing is just, I wish the, and this is the same on all sides. Like I've, I actually yeah, feel yeah. this way about uh, people on the industry side for two artists as well towards artists, but just like understanding like, yo, this is like human being shit. First and foremost, like we are all just people trying to, to succeed and <laughs> in, in, like chase our dreams and stuff. And like, I do think that that's maybe the other thing is that I just wish people maybe understood like, yo, know, like everybody on every other side of every email and DM and text you send is literally just a real human. Uh, yeah. And could have any number of things going on in their life. So if they don't get back to you, it's probably not personal. You'll know if it's personal, I think. Yeah. Um, but for the most <laughs> part, it's, it's usually not. And like a follow-up will actually solve a lot of the issues that maybe you had because it's just not communication happening. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's maybe, yeah. that's usually what it is. Um, so yeah, those, those are probably my things. Another thing for me is artists who make it so hard to find their social media slash oh, their music. <laughs> because for one, if you're a rising artist, your pin tweet, please, God, can you please make it your music and make it a video so I can see? Because I am ai love using GIFs. They're all over. But I don't want to go through your media tab and have to scroll to find the last song. It is so annoying. That is true. And there's artists, there was an artist the other day. I was trying to find his Twitter, and I was looking everywhere, and I could not find it. And I just like, gave up because I'm like, I can't. I'm just not going to search forever to find you. You got to make it way easier for people to find you. This is actually a running joke on the stream too. Uh, we have a no socials emote now because for the first like year of the stream, like literally it was like, you know, eight times to 10 times a stream, I'd be like, hey, put your socials in your Spotify bio because if you're not doing that in, right? at least 
you're fucking yourself up. Like, how are people crazy. supposed to find you? Especially if you've got a, a name that's maybe not easy to find. Like, just make it easier for people to find you, yes. follow you, and listen to you because that's what you're trying to do, right? You're trying to get yeah. them to follow you and to, and, you know, pay attention. Like, make it easy. Make it as easy as possible for people to follow yeah. you. And that's a separate thing with artist names. I don't want to tell anyone what they can name themselves. Go yeah. for it. But when you are sometimes including, like, numbers in your name instead of like a letter like the letter like the number three instead of the letter e or something it does make it harder to find you and if you're a rising artist you should make it as easy as possible that being said name yourself whatever you want yeah but i I would take it in a i maybe take into account like when you're doing it like if you if you are trying to do this again at a professional level like you have to somewhat think about seo and how you're going to show up on searches you know what i mean like and that doesn't need to be like the deciding factor i don't think in how you yeah. choose a name for yourself as an artist but if your artist name is jeff or like dave yeah you know what i mean then like you know it, it's crazy it's just, that worked for him <laughs> yeah you know it's just going to be hard and you've just got to understand that so you need to figure yeah. out how to like st- stand out or make it stand yeah. out in searches and you know what i mean like there just has yeah. to be some sort of differentiator that like gives some gives people something because otherwise you will get lost in the shuffle and that's just a realistic way yeah. of looking at the internet what's well, funny i saw a little dicky clip where he was talking about dave and he's like if i knew i could become a, a big rapper with the name of just my first name he's like i would have loved yeah. to have done that yeah for sure so it's, it's really impressive that dave has made such a name for himself with the most 100 like, basic name ever but at the same time like his all his handles is santan dave right and like that's been a thing from the beginning so there's always that differentiator of like all right like we know dave the rapper is but if you google dave and that's the only thing you put in then you know it's it's pretty hard to find even even for that dave like it's still it's still not the thing that pops up at the top right so like i think it's just understanding and if you can work your way around it great you know what i mean but it is figuring out how to work your way around it more than anything like you can't be mad about it if that's what you pick yeah i'll give you a funny story i was at the sixers game with my dad and black was performing in philly the next day so he was courtside and like his name just realistically most people i know call him six lack yeah because if you just say black you're like who and they're like six lack oh yeah yeah i know him but I was at the game, like trying to get his attention as like the game was over, and I'm yelling yeah. black. I'm like black. My dad's like, relax. Let's stop yelling black. And I'm like, it's his name, but I don't want to yell six lakh because he's not gonna like that. Yeah, no. But like, I mean, they did a whole campaign around it too. You know what I mean? Like his whole yeah, merch was lack, not black, black, not six. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So like, I think like that's the thing is like if you if you have a situation like that, it's figuring out how creatively to get around it and to yeah, yeah. almost make it you you know make it work to your advantage. Um, but if you if you you know if you should go into it and you don't try then you, yeah. you can't be upset if your name doesn't pop up at the top of Google because it's it's the internet yeah. and it's been around for a minute now so there's a lot of shit on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've seen an artist who has the same name as the NBA player. So like when I looked up their music, NBA highlights come up. So then you have to write like that name music to find exactly. the music. And it's unfortunate. It's like, do you change your name if you're deep into your rap career? That's a that's an unpersonal decision yeah. you got to make. It's hard. I mean, I've done it with an artist and it's hard. Like, it's not an easy thing to do either. So, you, like, you have to be sure about the name change if you're going to do it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, like, I, I think it's just one of those things, you know what I mean? Like, those, that's the growing pains of being an artist now is, like, you've got to figure out how to set yourself apart regardless of what it is, whether it's your name or image or branding. Yeah. Like, you, you know, there's got to be something that differentiates you from the thousands, hundreds of other artists who are doing the same things and maybe have similar names or similar styles. Um, so, I, I think that's kind of the name of the game, too, is, is how do we stand out 